I'm Marcy Baker of Alicia's Attic, here to share with you the clear view of quilting. We've had quite a few customers write in asking, how do you miter an inside corner, such as the example I show here? You can use this on lots of different quilts. I have a grandmother's flower garden here, and it works on double wedding ring, lots of different ones. Even this hollow cube, which is in our new book, ABC 3D. Let's look at how to miter these inside corners. Here's the sample we're going to be working with, and we need to trim the batting and backing so that it follows the angle of the top. And we're going to need to stay stitch this inside corner. You can do that before you trim or after. I usually do it after I tr have trimmed. So let's do that. Here's a close up. I've trimmed the batting and backing, and now I've stay stitched along my seam allowance. And I've also clipped to the inside corner there. And within a sixteenth of an inch, leave a little bit of fabric, but we need to have that clipped for the next step. Okay, here I have pinned my batting in place, but we would be stitching along this on the sewing machine along our quarter inch seam, applying the binding. And at this point right here, I need to pivot at this point, and I need to stop with the needle down. So as I get close, I'm going to stop with the needle down, and then I'm going to pivot. Let me pin that in place there. So I have a pin right where the needle would be. I'd lift, have the needle down and lift the presser foot, and then I'm going to pull this fabric down straight. That's why we clipped it, and have that in a straight line, and then I'm going to need to pull this fabric back so it's not going to get a tuck in it, and then I'll start stitching and I'll have a straight line. Okay, here I've applied my binding to the front edge, and if you remember, whenever we applied this, it was straight. I have clipped out the corner here so that there's no extra fabric. Make sure you don't get too close, and that allows this to lay nice and flat. We're going to fold down the left, and then we're going to fold down the right. I'm going to then hand stitch from the center point out, and that's going to make my miter. On the back side, we're going to pull this over, and then we're going to pull the right side down, and pull the left side down. It makes a great miter. We're going to stitch down by hand and catch that miter, and then continue stitching on the other side. So here's the finished miter on the front side. And here's the finished miter on the back side. So that's a quick overview of how to miter the inside corners. If you'd like more detailed information on each step, I have a video with handouts available on our website, aliciasattic.com. I'm Marcy Baker of Alicia's Attic, sharing with you the clear view of quilting. Enjoy your quilting, and thanks for joining us.